Erika, one of the most lifelike and well-known Japanese robots in the world, has made a comeback in public with a new appearance and improved artificial intelligence. Users have noticed that Erika looks great with her new hairstyle. The android robot is a synthetic organism with an electronic brain system that functions like a humanoid. It's even possible for the robot's body to include a variety of human organs that resemble and work like the real thing. Scientists claim that the genoid is simply an android with a female form. She can make a variety of facial expressions, comprehend normal language, and speak in a human voice synthesized. Erica behaves like a human when she listens. She blinks and movements her eyes and head. Hiroshi Ashiguro, a Japanese engineer best known for building incredibly lifelike robots like Erica, designed the robot. Japanese engineers never cease to astound me. They have created an extremely remarkable robot. AV-98 Ingram is the name of the enormous robot, which is a prototype of the well-known Patlabor persona. The humanoid robot AV-98 Ingram has astoundingly large proportions. The robot is around 6 tons in weight and 8 meters tall. The head, arms, and torso of this robot can move, despite the fact that it is not entirely independent and was not meant to move freely. The robot can stand up from a standing position on a platform, raise its arms, and swivel its head. Complicated driving systems within the robot enable smooth movement and show off its working mechanisms. Some parts are manually controlled using remote controls to ensure precise movements. The robot is equipped with lighting and sound systems that play characteristic sounds, and the pat lever and I'm enhancing the sense of presence and making it a part of a live show. The humanoid robot named Eiko Chihira is another example of how Japanese engineers have achieved remarkable expertise in creating humanoid robots that are almost indistinguishable from humans. With the help of 43 moving mechanisms, the robot can blink, nod, and move its lips while speaking. Elko is also programmed to express human emotions through facial expressions. Her design incorporates silicone and artificial muscles that contract like real ones, making the android highly lifelike. The robot understands human language and can respond to questions in both English and Japanese. The department store management believes that a female robot is an effective tool for attracting customers. In essence, she can display nearly the full range of emotions typical of humans. Looking at her, it's truly difficult to tell if she's a robot or a real person. It took Toshiba 10 months to develop Eiko Chihira. Researchers at the Japanese Tatora University Hospital together with medical company TMS UK have created a medical simulation robot using 3D printing. The robot has been named Makoto and is intended to provide a more realistic training simulation experience for medical students. The Makoto robot has been designed to express pain and also features a gag reflex. In addition to its outward resemblance to real people, the robot also has an anatomically accurate 3D printed internal structure with organs including the tongue, airway, and esophagus, modeled based on CT scans of real patients. Makoto has been initially developed for three medical procedures, endotracheal intubation, gastrointestinal endoscopy, and sputum suctioning. The robot is programmed to give each user a score based on how well they perform the training exercise. The Japanese Research Institute Riken has developed an android called Android Avatar as part of the Moonshot Research and Development Program. By 2050, the initiative aims to create robots that can assist with elderly care and remote work tasks, as well as replace people in hazardous or difficult environments. With the use of artificial intelligence, AI, and sensor technology, these androids enable people to operate them remotely and carry out precise and sensitive tasks like engineering or medical. The android's exceptional precision in mimicking human actions opens up a world of possibilities in industries, healthcare, home help, and even space exploration. The main goal is to improve human capabilities and reduce reliance on physical constraints by incorporating these technologies into daily life. Prior to the All-Star Game, Toyota's basketball robot Q4 made history as the first humanoid robot to compete in a long-range shooting competition. The robot, which weighed about 100 kilograms and measured 208 centimeters tall, made 11 of 25 three-pointers with an accuracy of 44%, which is on par with the top basketball players in the world. In order to guarantee accurate shots, engineers created unique algorithms that assist the robot in determining the trajectory, angle, and shooting force of the ball depending on how far it is from the hoop. Q4 
is a carbon fiber robot with 23 electric motors, 15 joints, and the ability to grasp the ball in its hand. The robot uses sensors on its midsection to locate the basket. It then positions its arms and legs appropriately for shoots at the proper angle and force by using its motors. The robot's creators are working to make it better so that it can perform more difficult sports duties and possibly even move on to other sports. These tiny humanoid robots were created in association with Shark Corporation by Japanese engineer Tomotaka Takahashi, the creator of RoboGarage. You are seeing a one-of-a-kind show as 100 tiny humanoid robots, created by Tomotaka Takahashi, perform a joint dance. This is an illustration of how sophisticated technology can simultaneously synchronize and coordinate the intricate movements of several robots. The dancing Robi robots are little 1-kilogram machines that stand around 34 centimeters tall. They are equipped with 20 servo motors that enable smooth and precise movements, such as walking, waving, and even dancing. In addition to the motors, they have built-in infrared sensors, a microphone, and a camera, which help the robots recognize their environment and respond to voice commands. Roby can perform various tasks, interact with users, and even engage in simple conversations. It can run on a rechargeable battery for roughly two hours. One of Osaka University professor Hiroshi Ashiguro's most inventive inventions, Minami-chan, is a humanoid robot. This robot is a component of his vast endeavor to build incredibly lifelike androids that are indistinguishable from people. A novel initiative called Minami-chan aims to investigate and evaluate human interactions with human-like robots. She is described as a 26-year-old resident of Osaka Prefecture, whose pastime is discovering hidden locations within the city. At a glance, the robot resembles a human almost exactly. Her movements and facial expressions are deliberately crafted to give the impression that she is a real human. Scientists are able to investigate a variety of social robotics technologies, such as how people react to robots that can imitate human emotions and actions, thanks to the development of robots like Minami-chan. Which of the Japanese robots in this video is your favorite? In a world where technology continually reshapes our understanding of gender roles and companionship, Japan's next-generation female robots have certainly stirred up conversation. These advanced creations challenge traditional norms and prompt us to reflect on the future of human-robot interactions, as well as the implications for our society. These robots not only push the boundaries of innovation, but also invite us to reconsider our definitions of connection and companionship. As we navigate this uncharted territory, thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of robotics. Let's keep the conversation going as we explore the possibilities and challenges that lie ahead.